Hey guys, welcome to channel Dev Kage and in today's video I'll show you how to use animated containers in Flutter application. As the name suggests, animated container allows us to show animations when the values for its properties change. To show an example, I'll create a grid of widgets and these widgets will animate when we tap on them. So first, let's replace the existing body with a grid view builder. By the way, if you have not watched my video on grid view widget, do check that out. Link is in the description. So for the grid view builder, we need a grid delegate. As I want to have two columns, I'll specify this as sliver grid delegate with fixed cross axis count and the cross axis count will be 2. Next, let's limit ourselves to 6 widgets by setting the item count as 6. And at last, we need a builder function. Here I'll specify a method called build animated container. This will be called for every item. Now let's create a definition for this method. Ideally, I would have written an animated container directly from this method. But since I want to handle taps on these containers, I'll return a list style instead. Inside this list style, I'll set the title as animated container. Animated container requires a duration for which the animation will last. Here, I'll set it as 500 milliseconds. Next, let's set the color property of this container as green. As you can see, two columns of containers are created. But there is no spacing in between the containers in the same column. Let's fix this by setting content padding for the list style as 10 pixels from all sides. Now it looks much better. Next, I'll create a list of 10 booleans which will tell us which container was tapped by the user. I'll quickly override the init state method to initialize all the elements of this list as false. Now I'll provide the onTap property of this style with a function which will keep on flipping the value of selection variable at that index. And since we want to rebuild the widget tree when anything is tapped, I'll put the code inside a set state call. And now we can decide which color we want for the container depending on the value of selection at that index. Here I'll switch between black and red. So now if I click these containers you'll see that color of widget changes gradually. And if I tap on them again, it goes back to red. Let's try to animate the margin of these containers. I'll switch between a value of 30 and 10. And as you can see, we get a nice animation when the margin changes from one value to other. Following same pattern, you can animate many other properties of animated container. So that was it for animated containers. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. And please subscribe for more such content.